All right, what is up, everyone? You. Uh, another beautiful day in paradise. We got a plan today to head out to the Asia supermarket in Pleasantville and show you guys that. But uh, we weren't going to film until we got there, but I just found this. I should say we. My door's broken. Just found this chair. It's all beat up right now, but it could easily be painted. Sanded, tiny sand and painted. And then back to its... Uh, you know, some of its former glory. Let me see. Yeah, it's sturdy still. Pretty much a glorious little piece of furniture. And I remember staring at the ceiling Trying to deal with emotions And no one feeling torn All I wanted was a picture on my in the Dollar General right now looking at the possibility of batteries in here. Are you seeing the battery claims? Yeah. Or are you not looking for them? Alright, uh, this is the treat, the special treat that we wanted to do for you guys today. We are at the Asia Supermarket here in Pleasantville, New Jersey. Um, pretty much self-explanatory, but they put these up around in our country here in the United States so that uh, Asian or Oriental cultures, I'm not trying to be, I don't know if these words are like, I don't know what you call Asian, Asian cultures, it's just Asian cultures I guess but they can get goods from their home countries here in Pleasantville. Uh, so they import all kinds of different brands that you can't really buy here. And the entire store is packed with goods and services because they have like a full on mall in here, all from different Asian uh, countries. So we're gonna go in here and just show you guys different products. We might get something for dinner too, probably gonna uh, but we want to just show different products and I just find it interesting because I never knew about it. I saw it before, never really knew about it, but my sister's uh, from South Korea. Uh, she was born there and came here when she was one and my family picked her up at JFK Airport in New York. So she really had no, she had one year of life in Korea, but it's weird because her eating habits yeah, well, she eats regular food, too, everything that we have here. But she loves, like, Asian food, even though she's not raised in that culture. It's kind of interesting to see. So she likes going here. Um, and that's, we went, I went here with her a lot of times, probably like 30 times. And she gets all kinds of stuff, shampoo here, food. She makes, like... Um, different dishes that I really don't even know what they are. Curry, too spicy for me, but it's pretty cool. They have like a whole aisle of dishes and goods and stuff from other countries that you really can't find anywhere else. So we're gonna roll in and just check it out for the dream. Sammy J walking into the Mart. So they got the Asian mall and Asian supermarket all in one so you can get all your like tax forms your customs paperwork deliveries you know all this stuff that i don't even know what it means travel agency it's all in there so how you doing today sir this is the this is the fish market in here Eel, mackerel, sardines, milkfish. First walking in, in like a regular Acme shop, right? Something like that, you would never see this much rice. And it's all from other countries. So it's just pounds and pounds and pounds and piles of rice. Because obviously they, they eat differently. For the most part, way healthier, honestly, than Americans do. And then you got all the dishware, and all this is, well, all these cool things too. 
that you wouldn't see really anywhere else around here. Like sometimes. Except Hello Kitty. Well, yeah, but that's that's true actually. But see, these guys are like religious statues, and in our in in our culture, like it's more like the baby infant of Prague, or the Virgin Mary, or the Santa Marina, or whatever. But here, obviously, it's different gods and goddesses. Um, also, I wanted to say, I don't know what that sailboat is, but that thing's cool. It's a $30, but it's still really cool, in my opinion. <laughs> Look at this. Key keys. Keys in a shoe. So cool knickknacks, patty wax, all around here. They actually have really cool pots too. And this thing's for cooking somehow, I'm pretty sure. Uh, some kind of a Bunsen burner type thing. Okay. So they have like all these awesome uh, tea sets. Mostly all the good dishware is from Japan, but some of it's from China and you don't want to buy that because uh, Chinese regulations in the factories and stuff where they make everything is more like um, less strict so they use lead paint sometimes still so Japanese dishware if it has like Japan on it then it's safer to eat out of and these are those bling blizzle spoons that Sammy was eating her wonton soup with or miso soup. What was that? It was miso soup. So yeah, if you guys are local around here, or if Is you... It's not on autofocus? No, it's not. Should I put it on? Yeah. So yeah, if you guys are local around our area here, you should definitely check this place out if you haven't already. Look at this guy. I don't know what this god is. And I use god loosely, but this is actually some kind of a god. But... I'm not up on my religion like that, so I don't really know. But like these things are really cool. Like these are, I guess, for dressing behind. But in Florida, when we go, honestly, we might just buy one first because we might stay there for a couple months. And the one room we were going to build a wall, but if we just had two of these. Honestly, we probably wouldn't even need a wall because you can hear over the wall anyway. So, like, for the price, that's a little bit over the top, but we might be able to find one. Cheaper than building a wall, though. I mean, if we got two of these, not that one. That one's crazy. How much are those? They're probably like 100, right? Whoa. I don't know. There's no price on that. Price tag right there. On that one, seventy. So, so, so for like you could grab two of those for one forty, maybe even cut a deal if you if you get two. I'm not sure, but uh, I don't know if that's like Ganesh or something. But that lady has like sixty five arms, and that's really cool. Also, they have like stuff that you just really can't find because it's genuine, like awesome bamboo mat. Honestly, really, really cool. Um, Even their brooms are different. Yeah, Sammy just said even their brooms are different. This is like wheat. But uh, this aisle is my favorite. So they have, well, all these are incense, which I didn't even know that. But um, this is the main aisle that really, when I first came in here, I can't attracted to this because it's fake money. These are hell notes, and I use these in my art all the time. But there's different kinds. There's those, those, and then they Americanized it, but they're still the hell bank notes. And with this, all, and all this stuff, like, look at this. So, like, this is all paper. But you burn this, say, at your ancestor's gravesite or at the cemetery, so that then they'll have what is in this box in the afterlife. So, like, you know, you can give them a watch. 
or the money. Sorry about that. Or the money, but I don't know why. I guess it's in denominations of 10,000. So you only have to burn like three and you, they got to $30,000 in the afterlife. Seriously unique though, because we don't do that kind of stuff in our country, like in our culture. Obviously in our country we do. I don't really know what that is. They probably have a cool incense burners in here though somewhere. Yep. Like this thing, right? Oh, For three one. bucks. This one. So like, this one's really cool. So Sammy's getting into the culture here. It's an incense burner, right? Yeah, you stick. I'm assuming, I don't know what else these holes would be for, but yeah. I think you put the incense, you put two, which is a little bit much, but. Can you believe, I mean, I don't know what kind of incense these are, but this whole thing is $3, so it must not be like it's not good. RCs, right? No. So yeah, if you feel like you were missing out and you wanted a specific car in your life and you never got it, here it is. You can burn this Mercedes with its own driver for your ancestors and they'll get that in heaven. Not making fun of this at all. We're just pointing out differences in our culture and other cultures. Um, obviously, I think what a lot of things that we do here are really weird too, so. <laughs> Not trying to make fun, but dude. These guys know coffee. Could you imagine having this big old coffee thing? I can imagine my dad. Oh, wow. It's coffee. so cool though, really. It's so cool. Are you getting that little pot? Yeah. Stick my incense in. It's two dollars. So. And I burn incense every day, all day. So what else we got here that's pretty interesting? Um, do you want me to be mic'd up? Yeah. Um, so my mom used to take me to get these things at the Asian market, not here, but uh, in Atlantic City, actually. And I don't think that place is there anymore. But we, yeah, because I used to really like these when I was a kid. They're like little jelly shots. No alcohol, obviously, but they're like jello. Like, like fruit. Juice. Yeah, like juice, but it's jello. Never had them. Softer. They're so good, honestly. Kind of expensive, though, for this bag. Well, because they're imported. Five sixty nine. You know? Yeah. They have to charge up price, like, to ship it over here. But so good. Um, so I like those. Let's roll, them. Let's roll down this aisle for a, a second. For now. We'll go to a different aisle, right? With like weird stuff. There's really crazy candy right down here. All right. So they got matcha sandwiches, which is so gnarly, and I might just get them. And they're probably good. Just matcha's like green tea, cream sandwich biscuits. So that's not gnarly. I did want to get green tea though. That's the next hour. Over. This, on that side. That's what I was saying. So it's going to be mixed up. All right. Yeah. Isn't this tea down here or no? Mm -hmm. So this looks like it's just all stuff that we could get from our own grocery store. Yeah. yeah. Except for certain shampoos and conditioners, they don't sell in like an Acme or ShopRite or. Regular grocery store. Like, yeah, I might actually get this right now. This is the stuff that his sister uses. It's condition. Oh, well, this is shampoo. But they used to have the conditioner, which sucks. Because now they don't. Wait. They only had the conditioner. They only had the conditioner and they didn't have the shampoo. Now they only have the shampoo and don't have the conditioner.
Put our. House. What's up? At my grandmom's house. It's not there anymore, but in Sacramento, I remember when I went there, they had something like that for my grandpa set up like that exact thing. It's really cool. There was like bottles of beer and stuff yeah, like that stuff. around the whole stuff that he liked, yeah. I'm assuming. And they would put it on there. Is this a snack aisle? Like candy. Uh, well, we could show them, right? No? It just kind of sucks, because, like, I have no idea what half of this stuff says. <laughs> well, that's the whole point of it being funny. I guess it makes sense. All right, so this is... See this though? This is like ramen. It's like almost ramen too. Look. Yeah. But you mix different stuff into it and it makes. This is the aisle that I like with all the teas. I want this. I pull this box. What did you say? Dieters aloe vera tea. But it's caffeine free. Most of the time when things say like diet on them, it has a lot of caffeine in it. <laughs> At a regular grocery store, it would be a quarter of this aisle of this tea aisle and it would be in like its own little section. This is its own little section, duh. But this is the whole aisle of tea, though. it would be like just three brands and they'd be like $5, $6 for a box like this. And here it's, it's only like $2 for a box like this. And the, like the labels we were saying, are much simpler because they already know their product's good. They don't have to like put extravagant things on the box to sell it. You know what I mean? So the aloe here is 69 cents a pound. The one at the Whole Foods is a dollar, like dollar twenty-five, right? $1. yeah, a pound. It's both pretty cheap, but that's how you say it, I guess. What? <laughs> It's just funny because it has, I, I'm like, what does it say? And then there's like little shrimps on the front. I think those are shrimp. I don't know what they are actually. They could be like, uh. It's shrimp. You know, like those little things that creep around in the, in like. Crawfish? Rivers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should I get a shrimp or two for daddy? It's crawfish, it's not shrimp. We'll try it. It's shrimp. Mm -hmm. Try a couple different ones. I just don't know what any of them say, so it's like. Well, clearly weird. this is chicken. <laughs> Onion flavor. Pick that up. Instant tofu miso soup. That's probably good. Yeah, but what is. It's just like a packet? Yeah, it just has the flavoring and the water is what the soup is. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I'm 
So we got this Sammy wanted to get because she, well, my mom was talking about it, but she, Sammy knew about it already. I don't know. It doesn't have any English writing on it at all. But what's it called? Matcha. Matcha green tea powder for the smoothies, and you can just make tea out of it. And the lady that works here, she speaks zero English, but I held up the different kinds, and she said, get this one, kind of like pointed to it. So that's probably the good one. And I didn't know what this is. I've never seen this before in here or anywhere else, but it's a preserved duck egg. And it seems really gnarly. I don't know if I'd eat one, but they're already pre-cooked. I guess boiled. And then they send them over here somehow. But we're gonna go in the frozen food section for a minute. Cause they got like You made it seem like that. What, the ducks? Oh, yeah, we didn't get the duck eggs. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's probably fine. It's good. I just, I'm a little iffy, weary of it. But um, I think they use, like, more parts of the animal, which is a really good thing. But I think this aisle over here is the one that's got, like, cow heart and, like, liver and tongue, which you can't really just get at a typical grocery store. So we got cooked pork roll, uh, anchovy flavored fish sauce. To be honest, I don't eat meat, but this looks really good. Like that sliced up for breakfast, probably way better than regular pork roll. Can't make that guarantee, but we got, so what is this? Neck bones, there's pork feet. See this is a foot. Look at this. You can see the foot. So they use like every part of the animal and sell it and it's probably totally amazingly fine tasting. I just, we've been conditioned in our country to not necessarily buy different parts of the animal unless it's like the, the good cut. But in here they have everything. This is a heart. That's a tongue of a cow tongue, heart. You can see the heart. It looks like a brain. Imagine popping that sucker in someone. They got quail eggs. Fresh. Oysters, dried oysters. Out of the show. Probably really good. I never had that before. Um, they got a turkey neck. All this stuff's frozen. Beef feet, pork. Uh, what is that? Uttery? Intestines. Intestines. I'm kidding. It is. Yeah. Looks like it. Tail, pork tail. Put the Ears, snout, pork chops, that's regular. Feet, they got everything, straight up. What are these? We're good to go, right? So they have a Dorian fruit. I think it's a fruit. My sister got one of these though. And she said it wasn't as good as she thought. They have their grand opening mat. So I don't know what, that was in like 1994. But uh, they got live animals, like live crabs and certain things in here. They're all in the back, but that's a lobster. And then they got like, a striped bass. This is farm raised fish though, so in my opinion kind of gnarly to eat because you don't know what the conditions of its raising being, but it's a striper. Look at this guy. Yeah. Whatever's growing <laughs> on him. 
I don't know. There might be a lot of heavy metals in those fish. I don't know what's going on with that. Fortune cookies are only two ninety nine and the whole pack. Forty four eighty nine. All right. We got some groceries here, some really healthier versions of what the dream is. Got a uh, couple bags of groceries and checked out the Asia supermarket slash mall slash little hub for those people to, to, to shop and conjugate really there's like a, a little restaurant in the back of there little what's it called I forget we ate there one time and then they have like you can do all your like paperwork there I don't know what like Customs forms and all that. Get your work visa, your banking, because they help with people that don't speak English. But uh, yeah, if you guys like this video and you like checking out little unique niches in our community that are really never put on film for the world to see, uh, please tell us and give us information on other cool places we could check out. And just, you know, be honest. If you liked it, tell us you liked it. If you didn't like it, uh, tell us what videos you do like. But we are heading back to the house now, and the dream continues. Woo! Back at the house, we found this little, it's like a half table that goes up against the wall. And it had this thing broken off. I just pushed it back on. Didn't really sturdy it fully, but you could probably just glue it. It's a little bit crooked. Like, it's not totally level. But this is a cool table. A really cool table. It has like little talons for feet. But we're working on some art claims right now. Gonna be painting some stuff in a minute. showed you guys earlier that was broken and black it's now pink fixed and has a comic book wheat pasted top we're using um like golden harvest wallpaper hanger and this was all sammy's pure genius idea and it turned out absolutely amazing so we're gonna keep this table but we might make some more um, to sell if anyone would be interested in that. But this is the briefcase. This was brown before and now it's just totally covered with comic books. Same wheat case we used and it just looks really cool just for photo shoots or whatever. Um, eventually we might auction one of these off something like this so stay tuned for that we're going to try and start doing an auction like an art auction every week or every two weeks depending but maybe in the future some of this stuff could turn into that auction but we're just really pumped about getting creative over here right now uh, the dream continues boys you know purpose of your life is to create so whatever you want to create too it doesn't have to be anything special for the dream you uh, <laughs> we got some good news a little bit ago um, our friend 
this guy Ryan from YouTube was watching the one video of the art and how I was showing the art through. Um, the Love is the Answer big piece with the girl pasted on it and the records. He saw on there and I was uh, just mentioning that if someone's serious about buying it, you know, message me or let me know. So I got an email today from him saying he has a hitch for my truck and he wants interested in buying some artwork. And I was like, all right, yeah, uh, it should fit. You know, it's 39 inches across from bolt to bolt. And then I was like, how far away do you live, uh, you know, if, if you're willing to give me the, the, hitch thing, the hitch frame thing? I can, you know, get it from you. And he said, um, I live in Wisconsin. It's like 11 hours away, but I'd be willing to come out there this weekend. And then I was like, oh, you don't have to do that. You know, that's a far drive. And he was like, yeah, I've been trying to take my kids on a road trip. So ended up that he was trying to buy that piece of art for $500 and give me the hitch. So yeah, come out if you want to. So long story short, too late, obviously already. The story is already long. But he's coming here, he'll be here tomorrow to pick up the art and give me the hitch. It's amazing news for me and for Sammy. Baby's got his own couch right here. He's so cute. He drooling, but he okay. But yeah, so it's kind of like, you know, I've been doing art my whole entire life. Never really tried to sell it on like a, a platform like... Um, and I just had mentioned it in a video, not really think anyone would bite on it because I've had that piece of art sitting around for a while. Um, hold on, I have a picture of it. And I, I just, I, t to sell a piece of art for a couple hundreds of dollars, five hundred dollars is a huge accomplishment. Um, and I think it opens the door to actually be like, yeah, I'm putting the, the I'm doing the auction right now and it's about to end and people bid on it, but that's like you know, selling a piece of art in an auction and making like $30 or $25. Um, but to sell a piece of art for that much money really opens the door to make, wow, people value what I'm doing and value, you know, what me and Sammy were just creating tonight. And we could actually create more work, bodies of work, even full bodies of work, um, and actually do it and make it worth it for our time. Because it takes tons of time and energy. And it's just... What? <laughs> My point is, I think that we can start creating bigger, better pieces of artwork and actually trying to sell them. Like, so thank you, Ryan. Uh, I appreciate the fact that you'd be willing or are happy to buy a piece of our artwork that we think that I think is really good too. So like... It just opens the door to the possibility of actually creating, you know, art as a partial part of like my career or our our life or job. So also look at this. Baby. He smells like a hamster because he's got wood chips on him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's it. Hopefully we see Ryan tomorrow, and we will see you guys in the morning for some more claims. Coffee before claims, that, as you know. You. Final claim of the night. What is it, Sammy? Good night or good morning. So pretty.